dominant chord let's say we have a B flat B flat 7 in any form so in uh, Donnelly that comes up so I usually do that imagine you land on the third of the, th uh, the dominant chord you just land like do that anytime you have a dominant chord you can always land like that so try to la try learning them in different positions on the guitar so you learn them from the Okay, so it's a nice lick to have in your arsenal. I usually, whenever you land on the third. You can always go to that, right? It's a great lick to have. It's a little more when we when playing over a uh, like more altered chord. Let's say this beautiful Jim Hendrix chord, E7 sharp nine. Doesn't really work. Like you have that. You could you could do. Kind of make them to so go. Instead, right? So you can basically do that from you play the chord, you go up. How would it be if it was a normal E7? You would do, you would go. So you kind of look at the notes, look at the chord, try to see what they have in common. In this case, in an E7 case, you can use the tritone sub, so you go to the B flat 7. You go down a tri tritone, right? There. And from there, you can play the normal lick, which is with the 9, just as we, just as on a normal mixolydian chord with a, with a, natural nine you can go so imagine you have an a e7 altered going to an a minor so you can go So you're using the, the imagine you're imagining this because when you have a B flat seven, you can use a normal. You can think of it as just the normal mixolydian chord. So E seven altered is not altered anymore because you're thinking B flat seven. So 
that's just a really nice thing. You can go. You're thinking F minor, B flat seven to A minor. Okay, so. Um, So that's one thing you can do and just in regards or in the same when when talking about the tritone sub you can always always almost always do a chromatic so imagine you have but instead of thinking E altered you're thinking B flat minor in terms of improvising, right? So you go different cat you can do pentatonic runs or you can just do like a so so two five one you can either do try to sub dominant dominant B flat seven. All right, you either do that B flat dominant or you go, sorry about my, you either do that or you do that E seven dominant. I mean, you do that um, over the E, E alter you go you think B flat minor to get that that's a really nice lick to have this is all from recordings okay so this is like some lick that everybody plays to go listen to recordings and try to make sense of it, right? That's also from recordings, right? Something like that. Thank you. Bye-bye.